All right, fabulous fifth graders. I hope I haven't scared you off with the first part of the list. But the O with ascending or tall letters or letters that go under the writing line, the O goes in one box. And actually, let me do that for you. The O goes in one box. And we have the schwa in the front. And if we have short letters, then the uh, o go in two separate boxes. And the E is usually in an unstressed syllable, so the E represents the schwa sound, uh. So we had two words that have the V in front of the O. So let's see what our next letters are going to be. The next word's a little complicated. Just bear with me, we'll get through it. The word is quarrel. Quarrel. K -w -r -a -o. You gotta really slow down on that one to hear all the sounds separated. Quarrel. We have qu. It's a Q-U. We put them close to this line because they have to work together. The Q-U. Yeah, I thought this marker was going to work. Qu. So it's the K and the W. Qu. R. That's the pirate sound. R is the A-R. O. Now, before the O, we have a short R letter. So O is going to go in two separate boxes. We have a problem, though. I'm not sure why. I tried to look it up, and I couldn't figure out why. But we double the R, and the syllable break is between the R's. The R's go in one box because it only makes one sound. It's part of the R, R controlled vowel. The unusualness of this word is probably due to a word origin, where the word came from. But our main focus is the O is following a short letter. So the E-L goes in separate boxes, and the E is in the unaccented syllables, so it says uh. Quarrel. The next word is cancel. I will cancel my phone line. Cancel. k a n s a o The s it's actually a short letter. It's going to be the C, and we'll talk about why that happens. It's a short letter, so O is going to be in two separate boxes. K, A, N, S, O, O. The first sound is K. It is an A, a C. K. Oh my try this other brown marker. I'm going through all my markers today. K. A. Like an apple. Mmm. My tongue is up. My lips are open. The next sound is S. A C followed by an E, R, Y will say the S sound. K. A. N. S. A. This is a short letter. A uh, is going to be a E L because the C is following the E. It will say the S sound. The E is going to say the U uh, because it's in the unaccented syllable. Can. There's my syllable break. So. Can. So. We got one vowel followed by one or more consonants. The vowel is short. Cancel. If you want to circle the C and the E so that you remember when the C is followed by an E, R, Y, it says. 
The next word is chisel. Chisel. The carpenter had a chisel. Ch I is actually spelled with an S. Even if it was spelled with a Z, the S and the Z are both short letters. So Z O is a the Z is a short letter. O is going to be in two separate boxes. Ch I Z O O. First sound is ch ch. That's the C H in one box. Diagraph. Ch. The next sound is I I. Z. It's actually spelled with an S. That's 64 percent of the time. The Z sound is spelled with an S. That's a short letter. O is going to be spelled with an E L. Chisel. We hear the z. That's the z sound. Zol is the second syllable. But if we leave that i at the end of the syllable, it's going to be the long sound. So the s has to go with the i. The syllable break is right there. So that's a closed syllable. And that's an unaccented syllable. So it says the uh. Chisel. I could not find anywhere that would describe to me why some O's are spelled with the E-L and some O's are spelled with the I-L. I like to, looked at the word origin of the words. I looked at all kinds of different aspects and I could not find a hard true rule. So I guess this is just when you remember the spellings of some of them, the I-L versus the E-L. The first one we'll do like that is evil. E -o, o The first sound is E. That's a, just a single E. R that is a short letter, but it's followed by a I L. E, that's going to be an open syllable. The vowel is long. We don't say vil. That looks like a closed syllable. But if we have a dog that we're fussing at, we're going to make E louder or more stressed than the second part, vil. So that single vowel is representing the uh sound. E. Low. The next word is fossil. I found a fossil. F-A-S-O-O. S is a short letter. O is going to be in two separate boxes. The first sound is f a The short letter, it's actually an I-L. Fa, so. I hear the S go with the second syllable. But, in this one, we double the S, that we double the middle consonant to protect the short vowel in the first syllable. Our syllable break is right there. Fa, so. We have a it looks like a closed syllable, but it's the unaccented syllable, unstressed. If we have a dog named Fossil, you fuss at him. Fossil! Fa is more stressed. This is unstressed. A single vowel can be representing the uh sound. Fossil. Alright, that's the end of our words for the uh o sound at the end of words. We had three different patterns, the consonant LE, and the consonants were either ascending, which are tall letters, or descending, which are letters that go under the writing line. We had EL and IL with the short letters that are in front of it, and the EL or IL are going to be in two 
separate boxes. Now let's do the A N and E N. I could not find where there were any distinction as to word origin or anything else for distinguishing when we use the A N or the E N. And they both sound like the schwa N sound. Un. We don't say an or n. It's both un. So here we go. The first one we'll do is human. I am human. <sighs> ya, oo, m, a, n. The first sound is <sighs> ya. That's a little y and o with the long mark over it. Oo. U, that's the long U sound. The U goes across two boxes because in this word is representing two sounds. Y, U. If you can't hear the Y sound, listen to me say the word without the Y. Human. Human. That's not how we say it. We say human. There's that y sound. And actually, if you hear, there's a little bit of an e sound right before the y. Human. The, the y is an e. -y. So it's a sliding sound between actually two sounds, but it's representing just the y. As a speech therapist, I can hear all those little bitty parts of sounds, but it's two boxes, the y and u, u. U, mm, my lips are closed. Uh is the schwa sound, is represented by the a in this word, and mm, my lips are open, my tongue is up, is the n. Human. Hu, that's the long U sound. That's an open syllable. Mun, it's not man. Remember, if we fuss at the dog, human. We stress this syllable. This one is unstressed. A single vowel can say the schwa sound. Human. The next word. It's an unusual word. Many of us don't know what this is. Toboggan. Toboggan. It's kind of like a little sled that you slide down a snowy or icy slope or a hill. Toboggan. T a b a g a n. Toboggan. T a is the schwa sound it is spelled with an O. If I have a dog named Toboggan and I'm fussing at him, I'm going to say Toboggan. So bog is going to be my stress syllable, not to. It's not Toboggan. It's not Toboggan. It's T B B. My lips are closed. The line is first. Ah, g, n. It's a schwa spelled with an a, n, toboggan. T, b, g, n. The g, n is the second part, but if I leave, I'll cover it up. If I don't have the g with that syllable, that's an open syllable, the vowel would be long. And it's not toboggan, it's toboggan. So I need to protect that short vowel. So I have to double the consonant in the middle to make that now a closed syllable. Toboggan. The next word is veteran. Veteran. My dad is a veteran. Mm. Eh. Er, 
go with this, then that's an open syllable that changes the vowel to a long vowel. So the T has to go with that. So my syllable break is there. Er can be on its own. Ve-ter-un. We have a schwa unaccented syllable. When we have an R controlled vowel, that is a schwa cannot be in this because the R is controlling that sound. Because the R is controlling it, it cannot be switched to a uh, schwa. The next word is suburban. My mom drove a suburban. S-u-b-u-b-u-n. Suburban. S-u is actually the U. A. B, B, my lips are closed, the line is first, and then the bubble. Er, and that er and er was an E-R, and suburban, the er is a U-R. E-R, U-R, and I-R all say er. Ben, B, 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 my lips are closed, the line is first. A uh, is the schwa. It is represented by the A and an N. Sub, that's a close syllable, the vowel is short. Er can be by itself. Bun, spell the A N. If you notice, I've, I've grouped all the A Ns together. Now we're going to do the E Ns. The first one we'll do is wooden, wooden. My coffee table is wooden. W, u, d, e, n. W, w. Let's see. I'm gonna move this up. I'll move my light up. There we go. W, u, u. It's two O's. U, like foot. U. That's the short version. Uh. The next sound is d, d, d. Sounds like a drum. D. The bubble sticks out in front, up to the top, down and bump. Un. Uh is the schwa, and this word spelled with the E. N. Wood. N. The next one is sudden. Sudden. It started to rain all of a sudden. S, uh, d, uh, mm. The first sound is s, uh, is the U. D, un, the schwa represented by the E. Mm. Sudden. Now we need to double the D to protect the vowel in front, the short vowel, the syllable break is between the D's. Sudden. And the last word, I put it last, it does end in an E-N spelling, but it's got some unusual things happening in the middle. Oxygen. Oxygen. Ah. Oh wait, let's sound it out. Ah. I, j, uh, mm. Oxygen. A, k, The X represents the k. Goes across two boxes. It's the k. 
Remember that first one, example? The X was actually saying the GZ, which is actually very unusual. And in oxygen, it's saying the correct sounds, the K, I, I. Unusually, but it's the Y. So make a V and then slide down. It is saying the short I sound. The next sound is J. We would usually spell it with a J, but remember we have un. We have the schwa spelled with the E N. Remember this card. We talked about the C before, but the G also follows the pattern. <clears throat> when G is followed by an E R Y, the G will say the J sound. Well, oxygen, the J sound is before the letter E, so it has to be spelled with a G. And if you want to put the, the J sound in there, you can circle the G and the E to remind yourself that the E is making the J say J. Now I want you to clap out the word oxygen. Ox, I, no, I said it wrong. Oxygen. Oxygen. Ox is the first syllable. And if you look it up in the dictionaries, it's true. So we actually have to split it up between the K and the S. Now, if you're putting slash marks, you're not going to put the slash marks through the X. So I guess you'll put the slash mark after the X. But know how you say it is OC. Gin. I left that one for last because it's kind of hard. Oxygen. Ooh, fifth graders. Y'all are learning some stuff that is difficult, but you got it. Even with my three different colors of marker. I hope that you have an awesome week. Y'all are super duper smart now since we have figured out about ascending letters and descending letters before O are going to indicate that we spell O with the consonant LE in one box. And short letters are going to have the O, O in two separate boxes. And also the IL are in two separate boxes. AN and EN, there's no rhyme or reason but they will say the uh, mm sound no matter how they're spelled. Alright guys, see you later.